Hello and welcome. My name is Voldus from Dicadata, and today we have a delivery of Dell's new PowerEdge 15th generation servers. We'll be having a look at both the rack mounted version and the tower version. In front of me now, I have the 15th generation rack mount server. The model that we have here is the R550. The three big changes over the 14th generation server that I like are that we have PCIe Gen 4, which doubles the data rate over PCIe Gen 3. We now have the hot swap BOSS S2 cards and improved thermal cooling. And also the third thing that I really like is the Dell have integrated OCP3 network cards into the 15th generation servers. Let's open up the box, have a look what's inside and I'll show you those on the board. We've got the rack kit, bits and pieces, including the cable management arm, the rack rails, which is again, as you'd expect for a rack mount server. And then we have two IEC 13 to 14 power cords to plug it into your power rails. And we also have the Dell EMC security bezel. The Dell warranty information, rack mounting instructions, and other stuff that nobody reads. Right, what I really like initially with this one is that compared to say the 14th generation servers, there's a lot less plastic involved. You've got the, the polystyrene foam, but the server is no longer wrapped in plastic. It's just in the box. Dell have put a really big emphasis on reducing environmental waste and not wrapping everything up in plastic is a really good start. Right, this is the R550 rack mount server by Dell. The model that we have here is the 8 by 3.5 inch drive. There are also 2.5 inch drive options available for this chassis. The 15th generation server lineup you can either choose to have Intel's third generation Ice Lake processors or AMD's Epic processors. This model has been configured with an Intel processor. As I mentioned at the start, one of the big things that I like with the 15th generation server over the 14th generation server is that they have moved the BOSS card to the S2 module, which now takes, it means that you no longer need one PCIe slot for BOSS cards. They are fully hot swappable and also hardware RAID. One of the other key features that I mentioned that I like in the 15th generation server is that we are now running OCP3 networking. This is the port down the bottom. There are many options from one gig, 10 gig, 25 gig, depending on which model you choose. And again, as the BOSS S2 card, it frees up one PCIe slot so that if you need other connectivity, you can put more important cards in your PCIe slots rather than taking them up with generic networking ports. The 15th generation servers now run on PCIe Gen 4. This has doubled the bandwidth of PCIe Gen 3, which has also allowed the 15th generation servers to run hardware NVMe RAID, which is a big step up from 14th generation servers which couldn't do this. Let's get the baffle out of the way. This config has just been done with one CPU and just a couple of sticks of RAM. As you can see, there's space for a dual CPU and many RAM slots. This is the shroud for the OCP3 network card. Let's just remove that one. So this one can be changed over if you want to change your networking. You've got new design fans. These are bigger than the 14th generation fan. I believe they were three blade fans, these are now five bladed fans, and the actual unit is a lot bigger than the old models. And there's been a very big emphasis on redesigning how the server is cooled. We also have the TPM 2.0 module because everything needs a trusted platform module now. Right, here we have the tower model, the T550 this time. You've always got to love a server that comes on its own pallet. Let's have a look what's inside this one. Once again, we have our box of accessories. No rack rails needed. 
In the box we've got, again, C13, C14 cables tied by two, and one Dell EMC security bezel. And once again, the paperwork that nobody reads. How heavy will this be? One Dell T550 tower server. Does what it says on the box, is a large tower server. This version has also been configured in the same way that the rack model has with eight by 3.5 on the front, simple config on the back. All the same features and benefits as the rack model. Still comes with PCIe Gen 4. You can put BOSS S2 card in it and you've also got the OCP3 networking port. Let's have a look. Let's put this one on the side and have a look what's inside. Right, first of all, we can see there are many, many, many baffles compared to the, the rack mount model. Let's get some of them out of the way. Again, this one has been configured with a single CPU. You've got space for a dual one. Once again, you've got the OCP shroud. Much, much larger fans as you can in a tower server because you've got all the extra space in there. The joys of having a, a tower server that you can put into a rack chassis is generally that you can put a lot more drives in the front. You've got much larger fans, which are quieter. So for instance, if you're in an office space that doesn't have uh, an a, a IT cupboard or somewhere where you can isolate the server, you're gonna have a lot less noise by running a tower server in a rack. If you're looking for a server that's running the current third generation Intel servers or the new AMD servers, the 15th generation PowerEdge lineup is absolutely amazing for that. If you'd like any further information on the 15th generation servers, please reach out to the Dell pre-sales team at Dicker Data. We'll be more than happy to assist you with all your 15th generation server inquiries.